Hello everyone, it's Feet Revenge here, and today I'm with, here with my friend Peril, and he is the creator and one of the developers of MC Skin 3D. Would you like to say hello, Peril? Hello, everybody. Alright, and today we're going to be looking at the actual program. This is going to be version 1.3, and Peril's going to be here to talk about some of it, and just go through a little bit with it, some of the stuff that I don't know, some of the background he can give you. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go. So, what do you want to start off with? Um, oh, I just wanted to say uh, thanks to all the uh, all the people on the forums. Actually, since we got the front page, who suggested uh, features, that's been the biggest uh, the, the biggest push for 1.3. Yeah, and there's all of your requested features. Pretty much everything that that's been requested is in here. Yeah, a lot of lot of cool f new features now. A lot lot easier to a better like layout, so you can easily adjust stuff now. So, so as you can see, some of the stuff up here, you can see you can now remove the head, you can remove the, your hat and stuff, which is a lot cooler. So if you yeah, need a toolbar. Yeah, I need to paint inside the on the inside. You can remove your arms. You could always do that. It's just that now that's right yes, there. Yes, now it is easily yeah. accessible. Yeah, exactly. A uh, lot more skins for you to use now. There's a lot oh, of selection. Yes. Uh, my uh, my main artist there, White Dragon, has provided several templates and all sorts of stuff you can mess with. Yeah. They're all the uh, public domain, so do whatever you want with them. Nice, and uh, nice little tree view, so you don't have to like a lot better, easy accessible now. Yep, yeah, and uh, very. Uh, you can sort things the way you want. It's, yes. It's uh, all very nice. and t You can actually, uh, one of the big things, uh, let me grab control here real quick. Okay. Um, one of the big things uh, with this sort of view is that it would let us do things like this pretty easily. Oh, nice. Uh, full drag drop support. You can even, um, I don't know if you have a PNG file around somewhere, but you can actually drag PNG files directly into MC Skin 3D from Windows. Oh, Explorer. that's cool. And uh, just, you know, drag them in whatever folder you want. And you can import multiple that way if you don't want to go through the uh, import dialog. So you can drag and drop import. That's yep. cool. Nice. And you've added some more uh, different ways to now actually draw. You now have a paint bucket. So you can yep. actually just... Uh, people are actually probably going to be confused once they open this up and look at the... Uh, uh, if you go back to the camera tool there. Okay, go ahead. Um, the first time they may open it, you'll see this big empty spot here. Uh, basically what this is is where the tools are located. Uh, that button there will show and hide the... Uh, the, the toolbar. I have it shown by default, but uh, all the other tools, who most of them here have uh, options you can mess with here. Uh, as you can see, brush was one of the things that was uh, asked by pretty much everybody. Oh, nice. We made sure that something like that was in here. Sweet. Uh, eraser, same deal. It uh, shares the same brush. Uh, dropper, nothing for that. Uh, darken or Dodge and Burn uh, has been merged into one tool. Uh, similar to Photoshop and all them, it's just one tool. But, uh, and uh, I just noticed uh, for some reason it's not showing the, the proper text down here. Okay. That's strange, but anyway. Um, but it should be fixed eventually. Yeah, the holding shift will invert the tool that you're using. So right now, like I'm holding, uh, not holding shift. That's dodge. Yes. And then if I hold shift now, that's burn. Nice. If it's did it apply? Because I can't really see. Yes. Okay, because it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah. Well, the undo didn't. Uh... One of the one of the newer cooler things that that I like to that I liked was this hybrid screen right here. Uh, yes, one of the biggest features, actually, that uh, people have been complaining about since all the other scan editors have this in mind didn't right off the bat. So Yes, it's very nice. You can also toggle in between each one. Yep. You just want to look at them by themselves. I figure the hybrid will probably be the most used one. Of the yes, one yes, at this it's point. very nice. And you have a screenshot. Is that As always. Nice. So what else do you want to talk about? What else do we have? Languages, different languages now? Oh, yes, uh, multilingual support, which was actually not going to be in this version, but right near the end of it, we got uh, like four or five people who submitted uh, tr you know, a request for translation, so we got that all in there. Uh, Chinese isn't finished yet, but all these other ones are here. We got French and uh, all this magic stuff here, you know. Very nice, very nice. That, uh, I yes. Can't, well, I can't sort of, but... <laughs> like two uh, years in high school, but... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Light was another tool because people were confused. They said like the dodge burn. They uh, weren't understanding why they couldn't reverse it. Basically, like by clicking once, and then you lightened it, and then you click it again, but it wouldn't, you know, go back to the way it was. Yeah. Because dodge and burn isn't a reversible tool. Uh, what they were looking for is dark and lightened. So we added that as sort of a basically it's contrast is is what it modifies. The Very lights, nice. The luminance. And uh, yeah, uh, as always, you got the same things. Your exposure is you know same as dodge burns. The amount to dark and or lightened. Yes, and the colors down here have changed also because before you only had a couple of colors to pick from. Oh yes, uh, actually, White's been working on a bunch of swatches that come with the program here now too. Very uh, nice, like you know, basic skin tones and things like that. Very nice. This is definitely looking very good. And, and I, I know we talked about it before, but you're you're talking about possibly animals and oh, possibly yes, custom custom model support. Uh, we have basically the, the base for model like this here. You see here is actually a model that's saved uh, externally. But the only thing is we don't have um, 
we didn't have the time basically to do all the models for each mob so all we did have is have the human there and it's it, it's hard coded so you can't actually change it yet okay but the the base code is there so you can look at the uh the human.xml file if you want to see what the models will look like in the future very nice and uh, next version we'll definitely have that in there that's one of the key features we're going to be working with is block and mob support very cool so eventually at some point possibly your own uh like texture pack you make your own texture packs Oh yeah, that's what this will be. It'll, it, it won't just be for player skins. It'll be for uh, for blocks as well. There you go, anything, everyone. Like nice animals, hum uh, characters, and your own texture pack creator. That's any, any, three any in model, one. Any, um, yeah, uh, fill bucket as well was another thing that was uh, requested yes. a couple of times. So it's just it's pretty much the basic fill bucket. Yep. Um, the threshold is of course like what how the amount of covers to bleed. Yes. Into the uh, the different changes in them, and uh, another feature as well is if you hold shift or is it shift or control? Yeah, control. You lock to a specific part of the skin. Oh, so that's so cool. That it doesn't bleed into other areas. Yes, that's amazing. So click there, and there you go. You got just one. Uh, noise tool as well. Um, it originally it was like the fill bucket, but we eventually someone suggested uh, changing it into a brush instead. So we went that route. Nice. That it's that hold. Uh, that keeping inside the lines is very useful. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, actually, just so I can show people, it does do it on the 3D view as well, just so you can see the. Oh, the, nice. Okay. Same, same. They're like the same thing, pretty much. It just it's rendering on the texture. Yep. And yep, there's the noise tool, just to show you a little bit here. It's gonna be a little laggy with uh, moving it over Team Viewer. But yeah, but still looks good. With a bigger brush, it'd be easier to see. So. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, same deal. Um, I've never actually seen noise as a brush before, so I'm 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 hoping to see if people like the idea of, of being able to apply noise in a brush rather than yes. uh, a global operation like all the other programs do. Yes. Because people have been suggesting like a selection tool, but I, I really don't feel with a resolution like this, with you know 64 by 32, that you really need to select, and it's more so down to just being able to pick out what you want to change. Exactly. Uh, and with a brush, you can you know easily pick out you know which part which parts you wish to modify easily. Yes, yeah, a lot easy, a lot easier to access now. Very, very, very f user friendly, you could say. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you mentioned um, the, uh, the the part hiding here. Something yes. else that uh, I added just for, um, I don't know if you'll call it kicks, but uh, this ghost hidden parts right here. Rather than actually um, hiding the whole thing, it'll just basically make a ghost of the hidden parts. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and you can, you know, uh, you'll, you'll paint right through them. Uh, basically, just if you wanted to see any, you know, sort of color blending or anything. Some that's might find very it useful. But uh, I figure someone will find some use for it. At some yeah. Point, so that's why it's oh, in that's there. very it's cool. Disabled by default, of course. And then, of course, you have your animation. You can animate them. Yep. That's none of that's changed. Let me just. Oh yeah. And if you click one of these, uh, like the off checkbox options, the the menu won't close anymore, so you can mess around with a bunch of them at the same time. Oh, cool. Yeah. Animate hasn't changed. It's all still there. Grass is here as well. Multi sampling is, uh, if you're familiar with the the Windows, basically it's a Windows feature. Uh, it's anti aliasing uh, applied okay. to the, the 3D view. Uh, you have to restart the program to apply it, of course. But uh, some video cards may not support it. But basically, it's just going to smooth the edges of um, of all the models here, like the you know the edges here. Nice. But that's all. It's, that's all that is. Okay. Uh, 2D mode actually was another thing that we had been working on, mostly to do with the uh, the overlays here. Rather than just being a single overlay now, you can actually just put in your, you can put your own overlays in the overlays folder, and then they'll show up all down here. Oh, nice! And you can pick up uh, a couple different ones here. This one's black, for example. Uh, default, which is you know, text and all that sort oh, of thing. Cool. And then you can just disable it if you don't want it for now. Very nice. So lots of new stuff. Oh yes, for this sure. is a, a, a huge version. This is the biggest thing, like two times as big as the original one was. And you've been getting a lot of help with this too. A couple, a couple of other developers have stepped on and Once helped you 1. out. One point two was out, and we were on the front page. Uh, we had three different programmers come. Well, actually, two come forward, and then I met one from one of the other programmers, and they jumped on as well. So we've got four people working on it, to, including me right now. Oh, nice. Hold on, real quick. Yeah. Right next to a fire station. <laughs> All right. So yeah, got some more help. Very good. Very good. You still looking for more developers, or are you you, if, you good if with the group? Wants to jump on the project that's uh it's all you know it's all open it's all whatever they want to do that's up to them very nice anything else you'd like to show us or uh let's see what else what did i add oh yes um a lot of skin management features uh the right click here you can see um another thing was suggested a couple times was the What's uh, a fetch uh, like from minecraft asked me um how do i make a high resolution skin because that was a, a big thing that was in 1.2 yes 
and there was no way to actually do that. You had to manually add one in through, you know, externally or something like that. Yeah. But uh, increase and decrease resolution is now uh, right here. I know. So I'm, <laughs> when I first when I did that first video, everybody's like, "How do you get so many pixels?" Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, "I don't know." Yeah. The uh, the Steve, or not the Steve, but the skin that was included there, charred up PNG, was actually from the John Smith pack, and I'd included it by accident. Yes. It was supposed to be there. Um, but yes, if you increase the resolution, uh, you will be told actually what it, you know. It yes, is, it does. Oops, and this that will yep. get bigger. And uh, oops, there you go. You got half pixels now. Nice, nice. And, uh, sure, everybody's gonna really like that. Uh, go down below the original. You'll still, you'll be fine. Uh, probably cool. should swap those. Should I? Yes and no. Yeah. I'm used to yes being on the left side. Yeah, on the left side. That's why. That's why earlier when I was when I was looking through it, I was just kind of like, uh. Yeah. Yeah, so if I decreased from here, it would mess up the whole thing because it would try to you know squish it down. Yeah. Uh, everything's all nice and uh, yes. And actually, another thing that was suggested was uh, the ability to make a new skin. So I threw that in there as well. Um, Did it do it? On. There it goes. Did it, Did do, it do it? I don't know. Okay, it was working on my end. Was Might be my computer. I don't know. Uh, let me try it on my end real quick because I might have broken it somehow. Okay. I did break it. Okay, I'll fix that real quick. <laughs> okay, so we'll be fixed with the with the download, but you <laughs> yeah, can create your own does, skins. It does basically what new folder does, but it creates a new skin that's all blank. Very nice. Uh, the the whole body is white and everything, and then the the hat is uh. uh but basically, we didn't expect people to actually use a new file. We expected them to, and then delete doesn't work either. I think, or did it pop up? I don't see it. Oh, let's not worry about it. <laughs> is there a Madal oh. dialogue somewhere there? Doing something. There it goes. Okay, there it goes. Just took. Yeah. Weird. But yeah, basically that's all it does. Uh, but we more so expected people to clone existing skins rather than in, you know make entirely new ones. So yeah. That's why that we never had that feature. So you just click clone, it'll make a new one. Uh, it'll yeah, it'll make a copy of that one. Very nice. Very nice. You know, that was always there. Uh, that's probably gonna say that again. Yeah, there's a dialogue somewhere, but it's like off screen or something. I must have. There we go. Parent, yep. Yeah. Just hit enter and it'll delete it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, same thing. You can delete folders. You can, you know, move folders around. It's all, all. It's more of a skin management utility now. Very uh, nice. Yeah. You, you almost mentioned the fetch from Minecraft. Um, yep. This was another thing. So we can, we can get mine, or you can do yours. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Mine won't be hard to get. If it's gonna work, that is. I don't know. There, there it goes. goes. There you go. That's the skin I'm using currently. Actually, Very nice. <laughs> so you can just type in anyone's user yep. username. It's uh, it's actually all public on uh, the uh, Amazon AWS server that Minecraft. Uh, I guess that's uh, that's who they, Secret you know, got bought their uh, share from. Yeah. But you can get anyone's skin. Like it's not. Uh, it's people have called it, you know, like stealing. Oh. But there's not. It's not really stealing <laughs> if it's public to begin with. You know. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Is that it? Got everything. Believe so. Uh, there is, of course, the auto update feature. I don't know if many people actually noticed it. I have not. Uh, in nope. the other one, um, it will automatically check when you run the program if there are any updates. Uh, you can force it as well. Oh, very nice. Uh, and we will uh, eventually. So you don't have to keep downloading it. Oh, that's good. Uh, it doesn't actually update. It just tells you there's an update. Basically. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't actually done the. Uh, I haven't made anything like that. Um, I think it's another message box in the background. Weird. I have to check out all the message boxes to make sure they have a parent because I don't think they're. They're way off screen or something. Yeah. Well, once all this is, uh, once all the bugs this is are. testing for me, actually, because we are in bug test right now. As you can see up here, the beta tag. Yes. We are in bug test uh, area right now. So. so, how soon do you guys think that you'll actually have it out and ready for the public? Hopefully in two days or so. Two uh, days. Two days counting from now, which is the, what, the 17th? 17th. Thing? Yep. Uh, Very cool. The other thing I did. So oh, yeah. There is also a zoom in and zoom out. Um, may not have noticed here. And you can Maybe. upload your skin. Yeah, same as the uh, the original, but I mean, like the, the zoom in and zoom out for the tree view if you wanted to make them smaller or bigger. Nice. Different resolution monitors, you know, whatever. Very so cool. Right there. And yes, the upload skin, uh, same, uh, where is it? It's file. Oh, I must, not, must not have put it there. Weird. Well, all right, Peril, thanks. I really appreciate it, and I love the mod, or the uh, program, not the mod program, yeah. but it's definitely, I, I expect great things from it you guys are doing a great job and thanks for stopping by and showing us how it works i really appreciate it no problem i'll do it again for 1.4 all right thanks everybody have a good one